Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Diecast Collector 99 here, and you probably clicked the video because it says Auto Art. Well, yes, this is the Auto Art 2004 Chevrolet Corvette. I don't know what C version it is, but it is pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. Uh. Well, uh, I, well, I already, well, something's wrong with my car. The wheel, <laughs> I bought it like this, so it, it's not, it's not, it was loose, and uh, she said the wheel had, the person who sold it to me said the wheel has came off, but other than that, pretty good looking car. Um... These cars are getting more rare. Well, probably not this one because this one's pretty ter well, not terrible, but very used. But still looks still not bad. Pay 20 bucks for it. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. But yeah. Here's the front of the car. Got the mesh and all the auto art and nice Auto art details and stuff like that. You got the Corvette symbol. You got the. I do gotta say, it's a nice looking model. Very impressive. And here's the back of it. The lights and everything. Didn't came with a box or anything. It's just loose. What I like about this model is that the. No, I, I, I was surprised that the freaking, freaking um mirrors didn't break off but it's actually molded to the car very nice it's a very nice model i mean it's very cool very realistic very realistic except this wheel keeps on falling off i have to glue that back on there but anyway let's take a look underneath the hood if i can i'll lift it up for y'all y'all can see very detailed I like it it's actually a full engine you can see all the way through and that's auto art for you right there you're spending I don't know how much this model cost back then but they were more affordable back then than they are now a little dirty on the wheel there but yeah still you can't beat an auto art for 20 bucks even if the wheel keeps on falling off. I swear. I, <laughs> yeah. But we got this beautiful tan carpeted interior. With all the details and stuff like that. Very nice. You can see all the dials and everything. Here's the door panel. You can see all the buttons. Everything is nicely done on this model. I'm not going to worry about the wheel. But here's the other side. Focus there. There we go. Nice. On the top. Carpeting. There. Nice. All right. Next. Let me just. I got a symbol back here. It doesn't come with the top. I heard this model does come with the top, but this one didn't. So, actually, it looks off. It looks good still. Not bad. The back opens. Well, get it to open. And you got a fully carpeted trunk. Very nice. Very nice. I have to say, if this model was in good condition, I would love it even more. Alright, let's look underneath the model very detailed auto art uh, very detailed I, it's just incredible how detailed this model is and this is like like the car that you know most people this is an affordable Corvette right now and you can get it for affordable price 
this wheel. I swear, I swear, I swear that wheel is gonna bother me. But yeah. Anyways, guys, let me just give a good thumbnail. And there we go. Well, hold on. Oh wow, that looks better. The paint, the paint on this model is just incredible. Auto Art always blows their paint and carpeting and details. Oh, man. Nowadays they're just composite, you know. I'm just like, and they're charging like over two hundred dollars for a diecast model. But it is Auto Art, so it's, get it because the name is Auto Art. But yeah. Rather get a high end, like a high end, uh, like a brand new Highway 61, like an old model, or an Acme or something like that. But yeah, 20 bucks can't go wrong with it. The wheel does fall off, but still, oh, sorry for the blare there, but still, nice model. Anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next one and later.